Hello everyone and welcome back to The Frame Channel. Durable, transparent, watertight, easily molded and recyclable, it's easy to see why glass is often the material of choice for the food and beverage industry. In this feature, we'll take an in-depth look at how glass bottles are manufactured and how their factories and processes have evolved over the years to become the state-of-the-art operations that we see today. Surprisingly, the glistening, smooth, and transparent glass bottles and jars we see in our homes and stores start life as a combination of dull and dusty granular ingredients. Sand, soda ash, and limestone are the main constituents of glass. Some manufacturers add crushed recycled glass, known as cullet, to their mix too. These ingredients are combined at precise ratios to ensure consistency before they're heated in a furnace. Temperatures of around 1600 degrees Celsius melt this grainy mixture to form molten glass, or gob, the gob is then removed from the furnace in small, bottle-sized portions before it is blow-formed. During this process, the molten glass is deposited into a mold and compressed air is used to achieve the required shape. The newly fashioned vessels are then rotated to an upright position and a second jet of air refines them to their finished forms. Finally, the products undergo a process called annealing. During this phase of production, the bottles travel through a kiln where they are gradually reheated and then cooled. This helps to eliminate any internal stresses, thus decreasing the likelihood of cracking. To ensure the bottles and jars meet high standards, they must then pass both visual and electronic inspections. Once the visual examination is complete, the containers are passed down the production line beneath rows of cameras and lasers that are designed to detect minute defects within their structures. Squeezers then check each item for low impact resistance and the thickness of the glass is precisely measured. Any imperfect bottles and jars are removed from the process and recycled, becoming the collet for a future production batch. Among the companies involved in these advanced glass manufacturing processes, Owens, Illinois is the largest manufacturer of glass containers in the world. The company employs over 25,000 workers and produces a whopping 1.4 million bottles a day. It manufactures the distinctive glass packaging for many of the best-known household brands. Founded more than 100 years ago by experienced glass producer and innovator Michael J. Owens, the company's automated bottle machines were revolutionary at the time. Owens Illinois' production methods and technologies have evolved over time to become more sustainable, with some products incorporating up to 70% recycled glass. Projects such as the company's 24,000-square-foot science building, known as the Innovation Center, are leading the way in new, cutting-edge manufacturing processes and product innovation. The Innovation Center is a exact replica of an industrial manufacturing unit. So we have every system, every machine, every component of a glass factory just in a smaller scale. This dedicated facility enables the company to evaluate the effectiveness of its current methods. An experiment with new processes such as increasing the percentage of recycled glass used in products without disrupting factory production. The Innovation Center has been working to develop a process that can work on 90% of recycled material. Call it is reusable glass that is being crushed to a, a size that can be used inside the furnace. We want to prove that Call it can be used at a higher percentage without any detriment to the process. 
Of course, the applications of glass extend far beyond the packaging sector. Car windshields, for example, are created from glass which has undergone specialized treatment to ensure that it is strong, safe, and does not shatter easily. Known as laminated safety glass, windshields are made using the float method. This technique involves the mixing of conventional ingredients with water, which is then heated in a tin tank or bath. As its name suggests, the glass mixture floats during this process. It is then specially treated and kept warm so that it can be bent inside a mold to make it match the required profile. To increase their strength, the large glass sheets are then tempered, a process whereby cold air is blasted onto their surface to make them harden. Windshields are actually formed from two sheets of glass separated by a thin layer of polyvinyl butyl. This combination is heated again in an autoclave, creating a durable and completely transparent product. Glass can undergo further processing to make decorative objects featuring vivid or patterned designs. For a monochrome finish, oxides are added before heating to create a solid colored result from the outset. For more intricate objects, glass can be colored using frit, which is a mixture of grains that create a colorful coating when applied to its molten surface. Alternatively, color can be applied after cooling to create precise patterns. Despite the availability of alternative products such as metal and plastic, glass remains an ever-popular material for a diverse range of applications thanks to its transparency, versatility, and recyclability. Yet, of the 41 billion glass containers produced in the U.S. annually, over 11.3 million tons are carelessly thrown away. In fact, figures from Recycle Nation indicate that U.S. citizens dispose of enough glass every two weeks to fill a skyscraper comparable in size to a 1,350-foot tower. Nevertheless, as sustainability continues to occupy the collective global mindset, this traditional material looks set to remain a fixture of our everyday lives for many years to come. That's the end of today's feature on The Frame. Subscribe to the channel to catch us on the next video.